Ahoy gamers and welcome back to Return to Moria on Middle Earth Mondays. In this episode we actually enjoy the game again. The game seems to be slightly better optimised compared to a few weeks ago where I raged and swore I'd never play this game again. We do of course when I get my corpse back, I get my gear again. We push slightly deeper into the mine. We find the start of the Pilgrim Road. However, I get the worst luck ever and I continue to come across more and more cursed areas and more and more orcs. So without further ado, let's jump on in. So, we are back on Return to Morlia, or Khazadum. Khazadum? Yeah, I'll do. As we play as Rofnar. Let's uh, jump on in, let's load the world. I haven't, s no, okay, just play offline. So I've not seen a patch for this. So I don't know whether <laughs> this game is going to be any more optimised than it was before. So it's been about a month and a bit since, uh, since the last time I played this. I've... Hopefully it's been optimised. What happened in the last episode is I got quite deep into the under parts of Moria. And I died. Multiple times. And I lost my call. Multiple times. So I kind of got a little bit annoyed. Um, so hopefully I don't lose my call this time. Uh, I think I figured out a way to, like this loading screen, take forever. There we go. I think I figured out a way to, I oh, like sensitivity, um, to get past. All right, I can probably change my settings now as well. But we'll be back in a second. So this game automatically put me back on the max graphics, even though I didn't leave on the max graphics. That's fine, because I had to dumb it all the way down to the one the lowest. So what I'm, what I'm going to need is... Essentially a way to get my body. Heading down there is a lot of poisonous stuff. Poisonous stuff is not good. Oh, Bjorn honey cakes. Honey, honey, how you need me. Uh huh. Uh, wooden chest. What's in here? Oh, this is some. This is just some armor I can take. This will make my life slightly easier. Pickaxe, torch, and sword and shield. So what I plan on doing is essentially trying to make my way back down to where I was and to grab my stuff again. I've, there is a way for me, like the cursed poison that got me every single time, there is a way for you to get past it and essentially by not touching the floor. It's a bit counterintuitive, but hey, if you don't touch the floor, the poison won't touch you. So with that in mind, got some cooking on the go, got some biltong, which is being, well, some beyond cakes being made. We're going to rest. When you wake up, we're going to grab all my stuff. We're going to head back down to the, essentially the bottom of the mines. And we're going to attempt. So Bjorn Cakes will heal me as I'm on my go. On the go. Not on my go. Grab this. We're going to attempt to get my stuff back. Obviously, looking at my inventory, I don't have a very big inventory. When I go down there, I'm going to have even less room. However, we'll make it do. We'll make it work. So we'll jump back down once we get into the depths. I'm not sure if this game has just updated itself in the background without telling me. Because I've told Epic not to do automatic upload uh, updates. But this is running a lot smoother. I can see the puddle of, of uh, mist. And there is actually now a way of... Well, this was in, in, in the game originally. But there is a way of just... Like not um, receiving any of the poison. That's just not by being on the floor. Which is interesting. Um, so I'm just... Can I grab that? As long as I don't touch the floor, this will uh, obviously not affect me. I'm going to be slowly making my way back to my body. Obviously, taking in mind that there is actually a small goblin camp or orc camp in between. I did change my hat as well. So I've got a different hat on now. Because uh, this hat provides me with a permanent light source. Now I want to be going in there to the left, so let's start building. I made it back to where I was, and since you're going to slowly make my way down this chasm, I've got a lot of uh, goblins chasing me, so do need to be careful. But where I'm trying to get is... Oh, there's spiders down there this time. It wasn't last time. I'm just trying to get to the bottom here. So my body is essentially just just there. Oh, okay, you can see where the mark is. 
Just need to be a little bit more careful, just as I make my last last part of the way down. Down here will hurt me, because it will start to go into despair. And obviously those spiders are bad. Um, okay, let's eat some food. Let's have some of this Bjorn, or, uh, yeah, there we go. So let's see if I can just make my way to my body. Take all. Okay, nothing's chased me, which is good. Uh, so I don't need all this salt. Uh, at all. Probably don't need all of this stone as well. Don't need all this silver ore. Let's see if I can take the rest. Take a shield, take that. Um, so I do just kind of want to upgrade this. Drop that on the floor. Don't need you. Steel hammer is useful. Torch, don't need torch. Deep mushrooms are useful and those gloves are useful as well. So, tin I can get almost anywhere. Deep mushrooms, bones I can get almost anywhere. Those plank gauntlets are decent as well. So let's merge the mushrooms. Take these gauntlets. Uh, that wood, that metal. Really, I've got loads of metal. Let's take that. So I should have my shield. And my spear. Like so. And I've got my good spear there. So there we go. Should leave me in good stead. So I should be able to make my way back up with this. In theory. So there's the... There's the rope I made. Can I reach it? Can. Good. Ah, oh, now I need to take these spiders out first. These great spiders. Um, there's one down. Two down. And poisoned. That's not the end of the world. So when I came down here last time, uh, all there was was precious, ge precious gems down here. So I'm not really like these here. So I think I can take care of it with this. So some granite and some precious gems. Guess I can start singing. Uh, it's precious gems I got with just a bunch of topaz. So we should be able to make our way back up now. And do need to be careful with all the goblins because there were loads of goblins above us. So my intention is, because Dawn is a hand great, but I, I'm in despair because I'm in essentially the darkness, way too deep in the mine. So I will slowly start taking some damage. So I do kind of need to get out of here. Is if I, Even if I die when I'm at the top of this chasm, it's better than dying in the chasm. So I need, need to kind of get rid of this despair. Jump up again. Did I pick up my biltong? No, okay, I have no food on me. It's not the end of the world. So once again, if I get out the top of here, I would be able to regain relatively quickly. Let's jump up here. Still got loads of despair on me. Should have disappeared by now. There we go, despair's gone. I'm equip my shield, just in case something goes wrong. I'm expecting to have a load of goblins up here. Okay, I don't see any at the moment. You see in the bottom right, I'm expect. Yeah, I am definitely expecting something to appear. The darkest deeps, the best spot to find the precious. <laughs> um, That's a one it'd be good if I can make my me. way out of here, but I completely understand if I can't make my way out of here. Resource cache is anything decent in here? Just some coins. Let's take you. And I now need to make my way back through there. So we'll go through there slowly. Because again, if I do die now, I'm, I want to know what these carvings are used for. Will I use them for like inscriptions for my weapons? I'm not sure yet. Um, let's, so I'm going to try and fight my way out 
or try and make my way out. Probably fighting might not work. I have very low health. But I think I might have to fight. <laughs> that is all you've got. A very good chance I'm going to start a horde on me. But this is a dead end anyway. I need to make my way back and go essentially straight forward from this stone. When I can get back to that stone and get home, eat, repair, restock off all my items, and then, yeah. Grab some meat, grab some hide. But I do need leather as well. I think I can repair these as well, can't I? Can. I think I was too panicked last time I came down here. So it's giving me some boots. A new weapon wouldn't go amiss. Okay, there's nothing in here. I think there was another statue I ran past. Is it? That's not a statue. That's a. There's the statue I ran past. Let's see if I can just repair this now. Black diamond. I definitely want a black diamond. Get rid of that bone. I can rebuild this. You can see there's a lot of uh, trash on the floor, loads of random items on the floor from where I just killed a load of goblins here a couple episodes ago, or last episode more than likely. So now the issue will be me getting back. So you see a little pathway through that, that um, rock there? That's going to be the issue. Unless I can dig through here. Does this look like rock I can dig through? Let's have a look. I can dig through this. Oh, oh, I don't want to dig through that. Because that takes me straight to the poison. So I'm going to have to essentially fight my way through or run through. Uh, see if I can run through it. I do have a little bit of armor, which is obviously a bonus. Now a horde's coming. That's awesome, Orc I guess. Get ready to fight. Annoyingly, I don't think they get affected by this curse. So I just need to keep running. And they can just run through this without any issues at all. Okay. So let's run through here. Almost back. The only problem is, is a, these are poisonous, these poison mushrooms. Okay, I couldn't kill that goblin in one hit. No, jump, jump. Jump, you silly dwarf. I can see arrows landing all around me, so this is a bit sketchy, to say the least. Kind of almost out of here, almost out of here. Let those little dwarfy legs run. And this is, should be the last room. There are goblins all over in there though. Some bats attacking me. That's where I need to go. Oh, wait, no, no, that's not where I need to go. Oh, crazy bit of lag. That's the first major bit of lag I've had though, so that's good. Oh, there's loads of goblins. Just keep running. God, if, I, if I die here, I'm, I'll be... Slightly less angry. Come on, little dwarfy. I don't know whether I can uh, teleport out while in combat. Oh, there's a lot more from. Oh, he got me from behind. Damn you, orc. But we're very close. I can just teleport there because there's a teleporter right next to me and pick up my stuff and come straight back. So that is now everything to be planished. I'm good to go. So what I'm going to do is go back down there. And there was that venture. There's a way I can go straight ahead. It's my intention just to go straight ahead. Jump over all of the curse. And this one. And yeah, jump over all the curse with using the platforms. And then make my way into that hall which I've not explored yet. Hopefully it doesn't go too badly. I did die a couple times doing a corpse run, although I died, I died right next to this map um, teleporter. I did die a couple times just because I was being a bit stupid. And I went AFK. So I teleported and went to check on my cats. Oh, lots of lag there. 
Uh, I went to check my cats because were one of them was outside and came back and I was dead. And here we go. So it's directly ahead. Uh, just through there. You can see the curse just there. So that's where I want to be going. I'm going to start climbing up everything now. Oh, there's random goblins here. I, need a better I wouldn't mind weapon leveling up and getting a new weapon soon. I think there's a new crafting station of some sort somewhere nearby as well. Okay, he died in one hit. Fine. Yeah. Because I've got uh, Belgrost uh, armor to make, which um, I need like a bigger forge to make it. I I can't make it in my own base. Okay, looks like this will be a bit annoying. So I'm going to have to mine this without falling in. And one just there. Just like that. I'm going to put one just here on the other side as well. That, the lower deeps. So this is the only this place I had to go. And I can read the history here. Lower deeps. By order of King Joran III, this area of... Stairs. Nope, that's not what I want. Back up. Elves and Moria, no, Pilgrim. Throughout the First and Second Age, dwarves from across Middle Earth would make long journeys to celebrate Joran's Day. The ritual path begins at the Miramir, where Joran saw the great sign in the lake. It descends east and stairs to the Tomb of Kings, through the lower deeps until it reaches the library the, um, at the headwaters of Kilblanar. Okay. Um, so I don't know what to expect in here then. Got new mushrooms, blaze shrooms. Kind of look like a. Um, I don't really know what it looks like. Whatever this is, it looks like it's having a great time. So let's end its life. It's a moth. Oh, it gave me some chitin. Chitin, chitin, bang, bang. Uh, there was a journal here as well. There you go. Let's see what's upstairs. Apparently a goblin wants fresh dwarf to eat. But I'm not for eats in. Only for stabs in. That's a terrible joke. Uh, there's a couple areas which come off this. Which I can go and explore. It is kind of dark in here. You gonna attack me again, Muff? Yep. And I'm stab him a couple times. Then I'm attack again. And finish him off. Get some more chitin. And what's through here? So I'm going to explore each of these sides. May I destroy one of these? Grab some true quartz. So this area is pretty vast. As you can probably tell. Oh, moths are drawn to the flame, which makes sense. It explains why they're attacking me now and they didn't attack me before, because I've got this candle on my head. This game actually makes sense for once. The Is there anything else in here? Best spot to find the precious gems. Apparently this place is the best spot to find precious gems. I don't really need any more precious gems. I've got a fair few. There's some mushrooms. Okay, I'm not going to climb that. Ooh. So I need some granite to rebuild this history stone. Right, let's see if we can find some granite, shall we? Not sure where I'd find this granite. But now I know I need to come back here. I need nine granite for that one damaged bit of lore. So we'll keep an eye out for it. But this could be... Good. Uh, give me granite. No, just gave me normal stone. There are some orcs over here. See how many stabs they take. <laughs> A fair few. That is all you've got. So I'm bone cold. Not really sure what can fix that, other than having a torch out. 
I guess not exploring at night would also help it. But, so during the day, in this game, you don't take as much, uh, you don't find it that cold, apparently. But that's actually not true, because caves and mines are always at an average temperature. Doesn't matter if it's day or night, it's always going to be at a set temperature. Uh, let's see if I can find any more of that ore. Interesting. Looks like my hat's just gone out. Or not. Just because I got too close to that quartz. I don't think I'm going to find any of that um, graphite stuff here. So, but I need nine of it to fix that history stone. So we'll keep going. Oh, there's some honey there. Cave honey. Yum, yum. Let's see what else we've got down here. We'll jump back in if we find something cool. Ah, I think I may have dug too deep. There's a troll. And I don't think I have the capability of taking that troll out. So, um, that's not the way I'm going to be going. <laughs> the other way, this way is kind of dead end in a way. There is a statue there, which I, I want to grab. One button. You see there's a lot of curse in this, uh, in this one room. But I just want to grab that and then I can then leave. Quite happily. Hopefully I can reach it without getting cursed myself. Um, might need a couple more. If I can stand in here. I can. Awesome. Yeah, I've got enough stone for this. I'm not going to search the rest of this room. Uh, that gave me a first age greatsword. That's pretty cool. Probably better than the weapon I've got now. Let's go check the crafting system in this. Uh, recipe list. Where can I make it? I can make it. Belgrost armor, I can make in the Kazdul Forge. But I don't have enough Shalnor ore. My normal forge? Okay, I can make this in my normal forge. It's a tier 3 weapon. I Let's see what my current weapon is. This is a tier 2, so that's going to be better than what I've already got. Silver ingots, rubies, and leather. I think I've got everything I need for that. So that's prob I'm going to probably go and unlock a third or first age weapon, a, f a tier 3 weapon, um, very soon. I need to find a way back to my home. I don't really want to run back to a one of those teleporters. I think there's one nearby. Uh, just a. I've seen someone stream this, a guy that gave me the idea of building that over the curse. See, his, his gameplay didn't have very much curse down here. He managed to make his way all the way to like the Great Waterworks, which is down here as well. So I'm probably going to do the same. So Great Waterworks, which could be through here. Hasn't, I say, it hasn't loaded yet. It has just loaded. This doesn't look like the Great Waterworks. Um, and this is just a room. And see if there's anything for me to rebuild in here. The darkest deeds. There's a room with a big Best hole in it again. To find the precious gems. There's quite a reoccurring theme on my games. Just giving me big holes. But look, there's nothing else in here. So we're going to make our way to the... There's other two other pathways we can take. Uh, just here and just here. So we're going to go check both of those. Ah. That's uh, Tadanoin. Pushed through this and there's a... Troll. She would not flee. I'd huh. Probably... Nope. There Don't does look like there's a me. thing over there. Some form of um, lever. So if I make a mark of that. I don't have to make marks in this. Lever. Mark location. Ah, that's close enough. I'm going to leave that troll be. I don't really want to make enemies with him. He's a bit... He's a bit antsy. I think he's a bit needy as well. He just wanted my attention as soon as I saw him. And you don't you don't need that in your life. And there's another room with more curse. Ah, found a mountain potatoes though. Nice. Look, I can make some mashed potato. Um, this room's pretty sus. I'm gonna try and get to the other side and then build round. That's my intention. I swear I have the worst luck. 
I just want to find the next waypoint. <laughs> I just keep finding more and more enemies. And I, and I got poisoned. Which is really annoying. But we will end this. Can I have to eat, eat my built on. I really didn't want to have to do that. Okay, my built on didn't heal me at all. So this is not good. Got loads of mashed potato though. Which is cool. Or well, mountain potato, I should say. So we're going to end this episode here. As we are quite deep. Uh, quite far away from any form of teleporter. Uh, I just want to... should have gone that way. But, hey-ho. Hindsight's amazing. We'll end this episode. So, if you've made this far, thank you much for watching. I'm enjoying this game again, which is strange. I didn't think I would. And we'll see you next week in the next one. Hope you have a wonderful day. And peace out.